Well, it's August 8th today, and we are, or 7th, August 7th. We are going to bring uh, bees into EAS, and we're doing something we've never really done before. We're going to be moving bees in the daytime to try to get rid of some of the field bees so that the bees are a bit calmer at EAS for there's going to be a lot of people working them. Um, so what we're doing is we're making nukes that we're going to leave, late summer nukes, very late nukes, that we're going to leave um, in the locations that we take those mature hives from to bring the EAS. And we're also going to be introducing cells. So we're actually <laughs> taking Mike Palmer's advice and we're trying to pull these nukes out of our most unproductive hives. Um, since we're going to be introducing a cell, uh, we're not worried about uh, the bees that are there. And we're going to get all the field bees, hopefully, from the hive that we remove in the daytime. So a bit of a experiment for us to just see if this works. I don't want to leave the field bees without anything to go into. They would eventually drift into other hives, but I'm thinking this might uh, work and we may, instead of, we're going to bring 20 hives into EAS and hopefully we'll gain 20 hives in the field. We'll see. So we brought these bees in during the day to, to lessen the number of field bees, but we did it in two different styles. One thing, we moved about half of them yesterday from their original direct, uh, location and picked them up this morning. The other half we took directly from their, loca their original location this morning. And it's pretty neat, you can see the difference in beast power from between the hives as you look with the camera. There's one that was obviously taken from its original location this morning. Quite a few field, field bees still there. And others, you hardly see a bee out in front. These bees are... These bees are going to settle in here for, oh, seven or eight days before the conference actually starts. So they'll develop a few more field bees and so on, but hopefully we left. They're not going to be so overwhelmingly strong that they're going to be a problem here. Oh, typically. And then honey supers on top of that. Todd and I actually laid out this bee yard a few weeks ago. Uh, the fence is basically to keep people out not to keep bees in, of course. And uh, what we're trying to do here, because there's going to be classes, if we're really spreading out the, the hives much more than you would in a normal bee yard so that there can be people around them. We're bringing in 20 colonies today. Uh, there's probably going to be a few more colonies come in from other people. But this will be the, the meat of it. And um, I think it'll go well. They're going to bring a tent in for the people. The only problem here is we may have to bring in water for the bees and there's not a lot of shade and we're getting the shade tent.